Hi, welcome back to uh, part two of this. Legend of Zelda Cautify Bots. So, yeah, like I said, where we left off was the Sweeper Tail, which is what it's actually called, which is the Ocarina that Link plays. Although Link has played other instruments like the uh, little stick that, you know, a band orchestra constructed would tell you, like, where you go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, uh, here, let me grab something. You know, where it's like that. And he has also played the Eagle Bong Flute in one of the games. But, you know, this is more the iconic Legend of Zelda, Manjura's Mass, Ocarina of Time type of thing. With that type of Pitolo. Not Pitolo. Yeah. <laughs> With that type of Sweet Potato. So, yes, it is the Sweet Potato Ocarina. Because of the shape, it's shaped like a sweet potato. But yeah. On the band says, The Legend of Zelda. But no. F oh yeah, and then Nintendo. So, this is not a weird letter, it's the Fate Fold letter. Little snap closer here. Open it up. Same little birdie creature there. Then some like. I guess Hyrule and Script language or whatever is supposed to be up here. Uh, you get a couple pages there, not that many pages on the back. Built by Cartrify, Man China, Legend of Zelda. And if you're wondering, oh man, I'm done with this, I filled this up. What can I do? Well, it's just hold in there with a bit of elastic. A little elastic rubber band. So if you happen to have another book that's the same size that fits in there, swap it out, and you're good to go again. And on the inside, it kind of has like um, felt. This side feels like felt. Hopefully, the mic on the camera is picking the sound up. On the front, very smooth fold letter. Uh, next thing that we're going to get out here is going to be the vinyl decal. Very bad vinyl decal. Although I am not too happy with the decal. I wish that the decal looked like the actual shield right here. I mean, you know, if it had blue with the yellow triforce and the red little bird creature. I don't care too much about it not having the massive sword. But uh yeah, definitely this just looks weak. Uh, I'm not going to open this up out of the package, but I guess it's okay. I just wish they looked more like, you know, the top did. What else we have in here? Hold on. Caught another one of these. I finally took one out. So, yeah. Cultifier.com. Okay. We're we confusing. I finally took one out. Made out from another box. What could be in this bit of white thing? Is this the uh, mystery vinyl collectible figure? Or dingy? I don't know. Let's let's find out. Uh, no, it's not. It is. Check that out. That is just. Let's see, what do I have here? That could bring it out a little better. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to see what well, you can see with the design a little bit better. But yeah, it has, you know, the shield with the master sword there. The tweeting glass. You know, along this, it's going to go for like 25 to about 30 bucks by itself. If you were to buy it in a store. So we'll just put that in there temporary so it doesn't roll off the tail or get broken. And last but not least, we have our exclusive mystery vinyl collectible inside. Which is this nice, lovely little pouch bag of rubles. So it says, official Nintendo licensed product, Cautify 2017. Nice little Legend of Zelda, kind of like symbol going on there. Some rubles here. Rubles on the bat, that little weird bird thing. More rubles there. The Legend of Zelda 
Rubo Wallet vinyl. So this is the Rubo Wallet. Very nice. Of course, you know, it's all made out of plastic. And unfortunately, you cannot take the Rubles out of here. They are, you know, stuck in there permanently. That's how they mold it in there. But I guess if you want to break it, you could break them off. I don't know why you would do that. But if you wanted to, to make it look like, hey, look, I got the Rubles out. You could, but uh, you're not supposed to. But yeah, definitely very really cool, cool. Um, is it worth it for the spots and what else is in here? Just that little package of gel stuff. Um, you know what? 30 bucks. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. Let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, let's see how I'm going to put this on in here. Some stuff could sit like that. There. So yeah, that's all you get in here. The uh, Rubo Wallet, the drinking glass, the Triforce Plus, the vinyl decal, the uh, collectible coin, the coin bank, and the journal. Um, journal, maybe. The Plus, definitely, you know, that goes by about 12 bucks, between 7 and 12 bucks by itself. The bank, probably like 24 bucks by itself. Great, I say one about 23 butts by itself. 23, 27. Bar and decal, I seen these go for about ooh, 7 to 12 butts online just for the decals. Coin, you know, eBay people are going to be charging like 35 to 60 something for the coin. This wallet, I would say the price would be between 12 butts would be your average price range. But you know, of course, since it's kind of like a Funko Pop collectible, but it's not really a Funko Pop collectible. I'm gonna to have to say something about 24, but you know, on eBay, people are gonna be charging like 45 for it at a starting price for a bid, and then you know, to buy it outright, it's gonna be like maybe I don't know, 72 to something around 100. Yeah, but yeah, definitely if you know anyone that's a big Legend of Zelda Nintendo fan. This is going to be a pretty good set to get them for their birthday, for Christmas. You know, they can always use a Triforce plush. Decal to protect their wall, sticker, wall, I mean computer, um, car, whatever, coin. The little treasure box, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the treasure box. Having the Rubo, I know that's going to be the number one prize that every Legend of Zelda fan is going to want. That little Rubo wallet right here. <laughs> the bots. Yeah, it's a cover box, but I love the art one on the box. Journal? Yeah. The little drinking glass? Yeah, okay, but... And then, everything falls. Yay! Ganondorf? He must have at least the power of making stuff fall. <laughs> but yeah. That's what you get for free butts at Walmart. You can also get it, like I said, at Amazon and eBay. So yeah, remember to wait, subscribe. And Leah Kai. Alright, thanks. Bye.